Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. And now that we've done all of the hint art from the dark side of the moon, it's time to go even darker to the darker side of the moon. I think we're up to this part. I'm pretty sure we've done pr probably everything else we could possibly do up to this point. If I'm not mistaken. So... The darker side, Colmena Crater, is supposed to be the hardest and last part of the game. Huh? What are the, all these people doing here? There's also just a party happening here, apparently. From With people from each kingdom, and also Pauline singing Jump Up Superstar. And we can see a replica of the New Dark City Tower here with something at the top. So, let's get started by going over this way with a frog. And this part of the, the darker side is... has captures from all different kingdoms to build kind of the... a linear level that leads to the end, I guess. It's very, um, what's it called? Hey, we're heavy again. What's it called? Can't remember what it's called, but it's the... I should remember. It's the hardest level from Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. That's strange, but anyway. And the other thing about this whole thing is that, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, ah! This is going really bad so far, just because I'm trying to cheat my way up here, and I'm doing a really bad job of it. The thing about the dark side is, if you die, you go back all the way back to the beginning, which is—it's not that bad, but because of it being, if you die at any point, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. It's kind of artificial difficulty, which makes this hard. But luckily, if we kill this guy here, if I can, he actually gives us a life up heart, which is good because we're going to need as much health as possible to get through this. I would not consider this as hard as, um, what's it called? The volleyball moon, but also that's just because I spent a lot longer on that. And also, each area is kind of got music from a different kingdom as well. Let's just wall jump up there. Just gonna be very careful with this, probably. It doesn't give you much health if you get hit, so you have to be very careful with what you have been given. Okay, we've almost made it to the end of the first section, I think, if I'm not wrong. I consider this a different section in my brain, so I'm guessing it's a different section. Okay, and this also gives you a heart if you've taken damage up to this point. No, this isn't actually a different section, but it's... I, I still consider it a different section. Okay. Let's make some of these jumps. You have to have a bit of speed before you jump. So you have to be very careful with that. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Let me see if I can get some health back, possibly. Okay, I got my health back. But it's not good that I lost it at all in the first place. That was really risky. Nearly lost my health that I just got back. But anyway, let's launch ourselves over to the next section. Which plays the Sand Kingdom music. Also, back here is a uh, health if you need it. But I don't need it currently, which is a good thing. Let's grab one of these up roots and let's head up. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Little things. Get up there. Get up 
there. No, I fell, and that's not good because I have to deal with these things now. Okay, get up there. I was trying to go too fast and I fell. So don't do that is my recommendation. Oh my goodness, open all my... That was very close. Okay, this is probably health, but I don't need it currently, which is good. And also, if we stretch here, it actually pushes the platform down, which is something we haven't actually seen at all. Okay, stretch into here. We probably want to leave our capture now, because we have this water here, which is ice water, which means we can't stand in it too long. So I'm going to be very careful not to touch that as much as possible. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there, and down. Okay, just going to wait. So don't take any damage. At the moment. Oh, don't do that at the moment. These fuzzies are going to make things difficult, I can already tell. Get across. That was so tight. Let's get up here and go. Okay. I'm surprised I've made it this far without... Like, I took one bit of damage. Well, a little bit of damage at the beginning. But anyway, let's tongue onto this moving wall. So that we can hold on as we go across with Yoshi. This is actually a really cool section. Oh, that was a good move, apparently. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. Why did I do that? I can usually get through that section without any trouble. Anyway, over here is time for a new section, apparently with the steam gardens the wooded kingdom uh, there is a health up there but I don't recommend getting it so let's head up this way and now for oh dear use Yoshi's tongue if you need to okay that's that done there's also this here which is actually this, these questions are fairly difficult and for multiple reasons because if we get any of them wrong, to be able to retake this test, we have to restart this area again. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the only kingdom that I, the Great Sphinx, have not visited? Okay, um... I think it's the Mushroom Kingdom. Dare ye, giver of the correct answers, take this with you. And he gives us another life apart if we needed it, which is good. But there's more. Ha, wandering traveler and hat buddy. Were you intimidated by my intense scholarly aroma? Aura. That one. That one. Please, that one. Well, I noticed. You have now answered a question correctly in all of the lands. Time for this big finish. Let's go. Which of these unique attributes do I not possess? Sand resistance, waterproofness, gardening skill? Zero gra gravity adept. Um, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Gardening skill? You're a smart one, aren't you? But this isn't over yet. This is bad. If you think, I'm going to tell you right away like I usually do. So you can just try again. You're dead wrong, so buckle up. Next question. What will you remember most about your adventures through all these kingdoms? Um... Um... Talking to a sphinx? I wonder if that is true. Flattering... Fl flattering traveler. I've just got a few questions left. Two to go. Why do I ask people questions? Um, it's a chance to talk, it leads to insights, it passes the time. It's a chance to talk? Oh dear. Mm, it's a chance to talk? Oh my goodness. Hmm, I suppose I should no longer be surprised at your correct answers. Last one. What final words am I saying for you? You cheated! You faked it. You got lucky. Thank you. Let's go thank you. Humph! Ha 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 ha! I must sincerely thank you for your time. 
This was just wonderful. I thought to use my questions to make friends all over the world. That was my plan as I traveled from kingdom to kingdom. But now in the end, I am just so grateful to have met the two of you. Thank you. I'm surprised I got that right. Keep on. Uh, keep it on, brave traveler and hat who travels with him. And he gives us some coin stacks shaped as another sphinx. It's not as impressive as a moon, but it's still nice to give us some more money, especially since we're going to need it. But anyway, we could have kept on the track that's over there, but let's go probably over this way now. Although I could take Yoshi as well. Yoshi's still here. I might as well take Yoshi. Actually, no, I can't take Yoshi. What am I thinking? Now, I'll explain why I can't take Yoshi in a second here. Okay, so, for this next bit here, we have to put Cappy on this Scarecrow to be able to progress. And this bit's actually fairly difficult in some ways, because the walls are being pushed in to allow the level to expand, but also if we get caught up in part of it, we have to go back a whole lot. If you use ground pound dive, no, ground pound jumps, things will be a lot easier for you. Oh, go quick, go quick, go quick. It's closing in on us, but there we go, we've made it. Okay, let's grab this glider. And let's glide. Avoiding being hit by everything. And I actually want to do this a second time. Up to this point, after we've done this at least once normally. Because of things that can happen. Okay, just be very careful. Remember you can shake to get a little bit of extra height if you need to as well. But there we go, that's that short... Lost Kingdom section, so it's now time for a Luncheon Kingdom area, I guess. Which is interesting. I just want to not die. I just want to not die. That's all I want right now. Because if I die, I have to go back all the way back to the very start. Which would not be fun at this point. Let's go down this pipe. And this is probably the hardest section in the entire level. We need to be on this platform, and we have these enemies that are just throwing themselves at us on this small platform. And if we want to kill them, we're probably going to have to hit the the beam thing so that can clean up everything for us. It's also going to chain reaction in a few places, though, so we need to be very careful about how we use it so we don't die. And if we fall off, we're also going to be in trouble, and there's also... There's also, oh my goodness, there's also fog that happens to be here as well. What is happening on screen? Oh my goodness, oh, I got hit once. Oh my goodness. But I think we're actually at the end here, so that's good. Just have to dodge a few more of these beams. And we are at this next section here. And this is also very difficult because we have to use this... Uh, Pokio thing to poke the wall and hold on for dear life. And we have to jump to the next platform as it's moving. <gasps> no, please, no. I have to restart the entire thing just because I fell off there. I was doing so well. Ah. Oh. I'm sad that I was doing so well up until that point. I'm just super, super sad. I'm so sad that I'm collecting Goombas right now. So many Goombas. That works, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. This isn't even anywhere. This is just the beginning. 
And it wants us to kill this thing so we can get health. I didn't mean to grab that Goomba from midair. But anyway. I'm dead. I'm gonna... Oh, it's upsetting when you die in this. It's not... Uh, it's not really hard, I would say. It's just the artificial difficulty because you have to restart every time. If, I, if you die. Can I get up there, please? Thank you. I want that extra health as well. Just to make it work out better for me in the end as well. I was so far. That's the last really difficult area as well. After that Pokio bit, it's just done. Pretty much. It's got one other thing after that point, but it's not hard. Seeing as we've done it before already. But yeah, I'm just upset. Because I died. I'm... I'm not even going to stop saying that I'm upset because I died. Now I have to go through this whole thing again, except I don't have to worry about the Sphinx questions anymore, which is going to make this go by a lot quicker now. I'm pretty sure he does still have the life apart there if you need it though. Which is good. Oh, don't, don't do that, please, Mario. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to go quickly to catch up to where I was, but it's not really working out the way I'd like. How did that work? I don't know. Maybe I'm just better than I realized. I'm just not trying. Just because I'm trying to be safe. That's probably what it is. Trying to be safe. Imagine trying to be safe at any point in time. Okay. Let's go. Try to avoid getting hit by the Poetaboos as well. We have to get through this entire thing here because, oh my goodness, camera, stop adjusting. Because we need the Potaboo to actually get to the end without touching the ground. Which is difficult with these little holes everywhere. Or not everywhere. There we go. I probably should grab the uh, uproot before moving on. Just because that's what you're supposed to have. good. I'm just gonna leave that there since I means I can get past it quicker. Oh, ground pound. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That's not good. But maybe if I'm very careful, I can ground pound dive across. Okay. Go, 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 go. Good. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay, let's go up. With Yoshi. I don't think the coin stack from the Sphinx is still there. It might be. But I don't think it is, which is unfortunate because that'd be a great way to grind coins otherwise. That was close. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do that section without getting hit. Since I'm pretty sure the fuzzies are always in the same positions when you go past it. But anyway. Just one of those coins. From that. You really need to control the camera pretty much the whole way through. Okay, no, those coins aren't there, but the life apart is there. Which I don't need, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Gives me some more coins. Yeah, this is not that hard. <laughs> Getting up to this point and beyond. It really is just all about... The deaths 
being not good. Very nice. Okay. Let's see if I can get through here then. And actually, I wasn't going to do this kind of thing now, but I guess I can do this now. Is if you keep shaking this whole section, you can pretty much make it like past all this, these two areas. But also if you're good enough, you can actually make it to the bit with the painting over there. But I'm going to not do that just now because it's very difficult to do. I'm just going to head over to the pipe and that's it. But I have actually managed to get to the painting by doing that before. But there's an invisible wall that stops you from getting through sometimes. So it's very hit or miss, but it means you can skip this underground section completely. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna try and take care of these things without touching the thing if I can. Although that's easier said than done. Especially when we get to this bit. I'm just gonna do it. I have to at this point. I just need to stay in the air as long as possible, basically, at this point. Ow. I was trying to make that jump again and it doesn't work. It really just doesn't work. Okay, this is the last bit. Let's see if I can actually get this to work this time. I think the problem that I had last time was I shook to actually go higher. And I guess I would not recommend doing that. I would just recommend just regular jumps. Oh my goodness. Except for this bit here, I guess, where it's just probably good to just skip straight to the end if you can. Okay, good. Oh, I forgot this ex bit even existed because I haven't seen this part of the area forever. We have an 8-bit section, which is cool, but also, I forgot this existed. If I can get through this, though, I'm done. Can't... I have to jump over that, really? This is not a great camera angle. At all... Oh my goodness. That's not good. This is terrible. Terrible camera angle. What are you doing, camera? But anyway, if we can make it up here and not get hit by the barrels. Oh my goodness. Let's take out Donkey Kong. Okay. We're, we're done. We're pretty much done. So, we're back in this regular area. We have this painting to go into. Of Bowser with the Mario cap on and moustache because we're gonna be Bowser now. We have to go through this section again. I think it's possibly a different section, but it seems... Oh, it is slightly different, actually. But I don't think we're going to have much trouble unless I do that. And have trouble jumping, apparently. Okay. Just need to get through here without dying. And I should be good. That was close. Oh my goodness. It's throwing more at me. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit wrong about this section having being difficult, because I don't remember this section being difficult, but I guess I'm having difficulty now. But also, I think we're done. <laughs> that's I'm pretty sure that's the whole section there. And now it drops us at this bit here. So, and this isn't even the thing. As long as we don't hop out of our capture, I think we're good. Yeah, we need to not cap out of the capture, otherwise we'll die here. But this... is the thank you. Thank you. 
But anyway, let's head on out through this pipe. Long journey's end. And just quickly, while we're here, I think there's some coins around the back. You've come a long way, you and me. Yep, there's the coin stack that I was looking for. So let's climb this tower. At the end of everything we've gone through. We've seen a bunch of different kingdoms. I mean, sure, we, we got shot down and stuff along the way. But that, think of all the hats. This trip really was amazing. Thank you, Mari. It's been an honor walking a mile on your head. You got the invisibility cap. Which means you can now play as invisible. You can only see your shadow, which is a little bit difficult difficult to see where you are when you're jumping though. But it's cool. Let's put in these moons. Now let's head on over to the Mushroom Kingdom because we're done here. The only moons that are left are the ones from... Um, Toda, I believe, and also just buying more moons in the shop to just increase our number to the max. Oh my goodness. There we go. I might have to buy some more hats though, which is probably fine now that I've got uh, a whole bunch more coins. Uh, by that, I mean not much more than I thought I had. I also need to throw Cappy in about another 300 times. Okay, I need five more hats and clothes. Oh my goodness. It's probably gonna have to end up with me grinding coins then. Hang on, where was I getting those coins from? Where was I... Like, where was I actually getting those coins from? I don't know. Also, nobody seems to know that we're here, and are confused by the invisible person talking to them. Which is a cool detail. Let me see if I can actually afford enough hats and clothes in the shop, if I can, maybe. Otherwise, I know where, where I'm going to probably grind. Let's buy some hats. One. Oh, I probably didn't want to change, but anyway. Hang on. I did. Ah, oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Hang on. Two. Three. Four. I might actually better get these all now. Five, I think that's all the caps that I needed. Actually, no, I probably needed four caps. Now I just need probably five. 
outfits, which are a little bit more expensive than everything else. Three. Four. And then five. So I should be good on those now. I just need to throw a cappy a lot, a lot now. Which is a little bit more difficult to do because I have to actually throw them. Let me just check that I got all those that I needed. 35, 36, okay, those are good. Um, actually it says that there's four moons left here. So what else am I missing? Art and Investigator. Or, or I did that because of the dark side. Good. So now I just need to throw Cappy a whole bunch, which I probably want to also change outfit now that I think about it. Can I please get in there? Why is it so difficult to get in there? We have so many outfits now. 35 outfits and 34. 36 hats. Oh my goodness. Okay. So probably the best way to grind up these hat throws is probably by just throwing Cappy forward and then down. But I also have to do this a whole lot. So. Hang on. I don't know how to keep track of how many I've got. Easily. I guess that's the only thing. Go Cappy, go! Go! Go, Cappy, go! Come on. You can do this. Oh my goodness. I might cut to when I've actually got all these things done. Okay, that one didn't actually take that long, because I figured out that standing in front of an object and then throwing just counts the throw, which happens instantly, and then stops, so that is a lot faster. But there we go, that's all of that done, so let's go say hello to Toadette for the last four moons in the game. Also, I didn't mention earlier, but once you've beaten the darker side, the levels on the Odyssey level select screen actually loop round, so you can actually go straight from the darker side to the Mushroom Kingdom, which is nice. Which I probably would recommend doing earlier than at the very end of the game. Art Investigator. Hat Icon. Fashion icon. Mari, you're amazing. You've achieved everything there is to achieve. The one that put you over the top was Fly Cappy Fly. So here's my very last power moon. Enjoy it. You're so accomplished. So there we go. Let's head on over to the Odyssey and put in the last moons. After all this time, it is done. Odyssey sail turned gold for getting all 880 moons in the game. A new portrait of Bowser appeared in the wedding hall. 
So there we go. And I guess... For now, that is it. And we're going to take a look at a few other th extra things next time. Now that we've done pretty much everything. We still need to get a few more moons to max out our counter. But that requires coins. But for now, I'll see you all next time. With our gold sail.